Nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall be Lord, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever. Amen. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving. And raise to the Lord a shout with psalms. For you are a great God. You are great above all gods. In your hand are the caverns of the earth. And the heights of the hills are yours also. The sea is yours, for you made it. And your hands have molded the dry land. Come, Come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For you are our God, and we are the people of your pasture and the sheep of your hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to your voice. A reading from the book of Jonah. God saw that the people of Nineveh had turned from their evil ways. And he changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring them. This was very displeasing to Jonah. And he said, and he became angry. He prayed to the Lord and said, Oh Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? That is why I fled to Tarshish at the beginning. For I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and ready to relent from punishing. And now, O oh Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, is it right for you to be angry? Then Jonah went out of the city and sat down east of the city and made a booth for himself there. He sat under it in the shade, waiting to see what would become of the city. <laughs> the Lord God appointed a bush and made it come up over Jonah to give shade over his head to save him from discomfort. So Jonah was very happy about the bush. But when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the bush so that it withered. And the sun beat down on the head. Then when the sun rose, God pre prepared a sultry east wind and the sun beat down on the head of Jonah so that he was faint and asked that he might die. He said, it is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, is it right for you to be angry about the bush? And Jonah said, yes, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, you are concerned about the bush for which you did not labor and which you did not grow. It came into being in a night and perished in a night. And should I not be concerned about Nineveh, that great city in which there are more than 120,000 persons who do not know their right hand from their left, and also many animals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us read responsively the selection from Psalm 102. The nations shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion, and his glory will appear. He will look with favor on the prayer of the homeless, he will not despise their plea. Let this be written for future generations, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord looked down from his holy place on high. From the heavens he beheld the earth. That he might hear the groan of the captive and set free those condemned to die. That they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and his praise in Jerusalem. When the, the peoples, peoples are, are gathered, gathered together, together and the kingdoms and the kingdom also, also to serve the Lord. Lord. Glory, to, Glory the to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy, Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, the beginning is, is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Then the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. 
See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, peace to this house. And if anyone there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. To God. Today we remember Thomas Bray. In the years before the American Revolution, the Church of England parishes and the colonies were under the oversight of the Bishop of London. <laughs> in 1696, the Bishop invited an English parson, Thomas Bray, to be responsible for overseeing church work in the colony of Maryland. <laughs> Three years later, as the Bishop's commissary, Bray set sail to America for his first and only visitation. Though he only spent two and a half months in Maryland, Bray was deeply concerned about the neglected state of the American churches and the great need for the education of clergy, lay people, and children. At a general visitation of the clergy at Annapolis, he emphasized the need for the instruction of children and insisted that no clergyman be given a charge unless he had a good report from the ship he came over in, whether he gave no matter of scandal and whether he did constantly read prayers twice a day and catechize and preach on Sundays, which notwithstanding the common excuses, I know can be done by a minister of any zeal for religion. Bray's understanding of and concern for Native Americans and Blacks were far ahead of his time. He founded 39 lending libraries in America, as well as numerous schools. He raised money for missionary work and influenced young English priests to go to America. Bray tried hard to have a bishop consecrated for America, but failed, resulting in the fact that American priests who wanted to be ordained had to travel to England for their ordinations. His greatest contributions were the founding of the Society for Promoting Christian Knowledge and the Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. These organizations were for many years instruments of British imperialism, but their focus has changed and they are still in operation after two and a half centuries of work. In an aside, one of my Purdy ancestors was appointed by the Society for the Propagation of the Gospel to serve as a schoolmaster in Rye, New York, and served there for about 20 years. Wonderful. From 1706 to 1730, Bray was the rector of St. Bottle Without, Allgate, London, where until his death, he served with energy and devotion while continuing his efforts on behalf of black slaves in America and in the founding of parochial libraries. <clears throat> when the deplorable condition of English prisons was brought to Bray's attention, he set to work to influence public opinion and to raise funds to alleviate the ministry of the inmates. <clears throat> he organized Sunday beef and beer dinners in prisons and advanced proposals for prison reform. <clears throat> it was he who first suggested to General o Oglethorpe the idea of founding a humanitarian colony for the relief of honest debtors, but he died before the colony of Georgia became a reality. Thomas Bray. Lord have mercy. Christ have Christ mercy. Have mercy. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. 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 Thy will, will, will be done. On earth, earth as it is, as in, it is heaven. in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread. Daily bread. And, bread. and yeah, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we as forgive we those who trespass against us. us. And, and lead, lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. From evil. And the kingdom, and the, kingdom and the power and the glory, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. 
God of compassion, you open the eyes of your servant Thomas Bray to see the needs of the church in the new world and led him to found societies to meet those needs. Make the church in this land diligent at all times to propagate the gospel among those who have not received it and to promote the spread of Christian knowledge. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Uh -huh. Siblings, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves, to strive for justice and peace, and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us now honor these our vows and let us pray for our nation, for wise and just leaders, and for the needs of others throughout our country and the world. We pray for blessings on all peacemakers, on leaders who value peace, and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world, especially in Ukraine. God of love, in your mercy. Yeah, right. yeah. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves and address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love, in your mercy. Here are. Here are. We commend our nation to the Lord's care. Grant to Joseph, our president, Kathy, our governor, the members of our federal, state, and local legislatures and courts, and all in authority, wisdom, and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love, in your mercy. Hear us. We pray for the church militant throughout the world, that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, Father Mark and Father Dan, and Kurt, our rector emeritus. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between the rich and poor, and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. Here I am. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world, that we will respect all people as precious children of God and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious, and gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts, our society, and our laws. God of love, in your mercy. Here I am. We pray for a reverence of creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it, that we will use its resources in the service of others, and that we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims from around the world, that they may be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for all prisoners and captives, that the spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution, and that we, with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed, may be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for all children and families, and particularly for the orphaned, neglected, abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy. Bless, O oh Lord, those who seek to learn and those who teach them. Inspire us to break down barriers that withhold education from your children and enlighten us with bright beams of wisdom, so we may be equipped to seek the blessings of liberty, justice, and peace. God of love, in your mercy. Yeah. Bless, O oh Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy, and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Esther E. Knapp, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Kat Bates, Marina Guerra, Karen Liu, Ava Longmire, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz-Massengill, 
and all those responding to natural and human-made disasters. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm, remembering especially Hank, Peter, Bob, Mark, MB, Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Todd, Einstein, Danny M, Pamela, Nat and Nancy, Jude, Sue B, Elsie, Sue M, Sally, MC, David, Jerry, Bruce, Pearl, James, Paul, Dawn, Macy, Mother Lauren, Katie, Pam, Peg, Carol W, Roy, Bruno, Doug, Carol, Alan Michael, Leah, Ryan, Michelle, those suffering as a result of natural and human-made disasters, especially the earthquake victims in Turkey and Syria, those injured due to gun violence, and all those affected by COVID-19. God of love, in your mercy. We commend to you, Lord, all who have died, remembering especially Sister Mary Jean of the community of St. Mary East, those who have perished so far in the war in Ukraine, those who died as a result of natural and human-made disasters, especially the earthquake victims in Turkey and Syria, those killed as a result of gun violence, the millions worldwide who have died from COVID-19, and all those we remember today in the stillness of our hearts. May they rest in peace. God of love, in your mercy. Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen. 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 Thank you so much.